Yeah. Hey yo, big up to the whole HQ massive. Thursday greetings once again, y'all. Who's tuned up, tuned in, and singing a winning tune? The weather's nice, the weekend is in spitting distance, and I'm Money Flippin' Matt Richards, bringing you the series of the difficult queries. Hello! I hope you're all feeling well and still fighting the pandemic. Santa Tiles will break! Santa Tiles will break! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, there it is! So clean! Y'all should be double boosted by now. Okay, if you do, go to vaccines.gov. The shots are still free and they still save lives. And to help even more, stay home and play trivia. Yeah! But most of you are doing that anyway, aren't you? So, uh, bravo. Yeah, you know where the excitement is. And we're here to provide it. And I'm sure you know how it goes, but let's drop a little review just in case we have any newcomers, okay? Tonight and every Thursday night until Elon Musk buys HQ Trivia and brings us back seven nights a week, a dirty ding-dong dozen of our trickiest questions are gonna fly out of your phone and broil your brain for a while. Every question has three possible answers. Tap the one that speaks the loudest to you, okay? If you keep your wits, know your stuff, and uh, slalom around all the flags, you can cross the finish line a full-blown HQ winner. And share in the glory and the bragging rights. And oh yeah, there's the $1,500 prize pot to share in too. $1,500, that's enough to make you holla. But seriously, Elon, what's up, dog? Yeah, okay, now with money on the line, we don't plan on making it easy, but we promise it's doable. All you need is a full brain, a trained tapping finger, and to stay alert in the heat of the moment. So who's ready to get rolling? Because it's about that time. Looking at my Gucci, it's about that time. <laughs> okay, if there's a nerd in the house, you better call him into the room for your best chance of winning. Or if the nerd is you, go help somebody else. And as always, turn off, Shut out, or just ignore anything that might distract you during the game, okay? If you got one of them little tiny dogs that yip yap, yip yap, give them a little peanut butter and a call. Okay, I heard that works. Now, breathe deep. Take one last second to remember everything you've ever known. Because right now, there's nothing to it but to HQ it. With question number one. Which of these games is commonly played only with pencil and paper? Mass Effect, NFL Football, or Tic-Tac-Toe? What's it gonna be, fam? Lock it in. All right, there are millions of games out there, some of them using the simplest of equipment, and pencils and paper are all you need for some classics like Hangman uh, and Tic-Tac-Toe. Pro tip, go for the center, yeah. They never see that coming. 16,508 players just now. You got it right. I might have to try this. But I think my dog will just eat all the treats off the table. And I hope that was a non toxic marker. You know what I mean? You can just have your dog licking it. Markers? It was bad. Okay, Q2! In your face! Which of these punctuation marks typically goes at the end of a sentence? Exclamation mark, hyphen, or semicolon? Hmm, what's it gonna be? Yeah, we made it tough by using choices that aren't in the question, but you guys are smart. I bet for most of you, that exclamation mark jump right out. That's its job if you think about it. 16,000. 455 players got that right. Good job, babies. Good job indeed. Yeah. All right, Q3. Twitter was purchased this week by the CEO of what tech concern? Amazon, Google, or Tesla? I gave y'all a couple hints. Don't say money flipper never flipped you nothing. Cause I do, baby. All right, will everything change on Twitter? Has it already? Uh, do you have to change socials? We're still figuring this out since the surprise takeover of the Bluebird by Elon Musk of Tesla fame. Be ready for change. Embrace change, okay? Seriously, Elon. HQ Trivia, seven nights a week, baby! Or we can just do After Dark. Let's just, if Elon come, hey Elon, listen to me! All right, 
<laughs> 15,976. You know what would be funny? Because that's a lot of us. That's enough to get us a trend. If all of you tweet at Elon, I'm just saying. Every last one. Every last one of y'all, except there's a few that's not going to do it. No. But if everybody else did, that'd be dope. Okay, Q4, knocking on your door. Which planet's orbit is not adjacent to our solar system's asteroid belt? Mars, Jupiter, or Saturn? The game that pays, the game that stays, and we give you knowledge. Yeah. All right, it's a big, big solar system with millions and millions of asteroids. And if you want to travel outside the belt, you'll cross the orbit of either Mars or Jupiter. Saturn's further out, and it has its own belt situation. Saturn! 11,250 players got that one right. Good job. Yay, yay. <laughs> All right, question number five. For the children. Staying alive. All right, here we go. Which of these celebrated painters was the husband of Frida Kahlo? Francisco Goya, Pablo Picasso, or Diego Rivera? We got Francisco Goya, Pablo Picasso, or Diego Rivera. Frida Kahlo, y'all. All right, we went easy on you here because Miss Kahlo was Mexican and two of these guys are Spanish and Francisco died 80 years before Frida was born. But Mexico was where she met and married Diego Rivera. She married him twice, in fact. 10,423 of y'all got it right. Y'all are smart. Y'all are so smart, and I love to see it. Let's see how many of y'all got what it takes to go the distance. Question number six, and it goes a little something like this. What metal is not in modern U.S. pennies? Copper, nickel, or zinc? Looking for the metal that is not in modern U.S. pennies. Been a long time since I've seen a penny. That's not a flex or nothing, I just, I use my phone to pay for a lot of stuff. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, get, what is this? A penny? Puppycock. Once upon a time, long ago, a penny was uh, a good 95% copper, but that stuff's valuable. So if the ones in your pocket have any shine on them, uh, bet on them being copper-coated zinc. Yeah, they use the nickel to make some other coin. <laughs> Oh yeah, 6,136 players got it right. Nickel, that's not in modern U.S. pennies. It is a Nickelback. Yeah, Nickelback. What's your favorite Nickelback song? Oh my God, there's just so many good ones. <laughs> Asaf said, oh my God, there's just so many good ones. You know what I've been listening to a lot? Panic at the Disco. I chimed in with, haven't you people ever heard of? I'm gonna stop. No, it's much better to face this kind of quiz with a sense of pie. Okay, Q7. Which U.S. president's predecessor was also his successor? Rutherford B. Hayes, Benjamin Harrison, or William McKinley? All right, if you're still in the game, I bet you know that Grover Cleveland served non-consecutive terms. We're just asking who was in between them, okay? and it was the grandson of the ninth president, Benjamin Harrison. He was afraid of light switches. 6,342 players got it right. Yeah. Look at him. <laughs> Better watch out now. Scary. All right, question number eight. No, you're feeling great. <laughs> Nate, what up, baby? Nate drinks coffee too much. I gotta tell him to switch to decaf. All right, question number eight. A style of cake with a pink and yellow checkered interior shares its name with a place where? Germany, Morocco, or scroll up for me? <laughs> Sweden. <laughs> you saw it, you guys saw it. 
I couldn't see it. Sometimes the, the names come in a little small. Okay, this takes some preparation time because you have to bake a pink cake and a yellow cake and then combine them. But it's worth it if you like what's called a Battenberg cake, just like the town in Germany. Yeah. 4,201 players got it right. They do no cake over there. Battenberg. Guten Abend. Guten Abend, HQ. This. Yeah. <laughs> All right, question number nine. Hope you're feeling fine. Operation New Finland was a plan to relocate Finns where during World War II? Alaska, Iceland, or Ontario? What's it going to be? Baby, baby. Okay, the Soviet Union caused a lot of countries to start making exit strategies, and Finland had it rough. So they looked to some chilly locales, and this plan also got the name Fin Alaska. Turned out Alaskans didn't want to learn Finnish. Fin Alaska. Yeah, that was, that was what they were working on. 3,467 players got it right. Alaska. Yeah. All right. Q10, my friends. Time to get it in. Which of these Bible characters is not mentioned by name in the Quran? John the Baptist, Moses, or Peter? Okie dokie. Judaism, Christianity, Islam, they're all in the category of, uh, what is it, Abrahamic faiths? Right? And there's a lot of crossover, but although there's general discussion of Jesus' disciples, Peter is not mentioned in the Quran. Only a few make the cut. 2,362 knew what to do. Oh shoot, look at you. Reggie is not in the Quran. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he does not observe Ramadan because he just be eating all the time. Can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> My favorite African-American polar bear. Oh yeah. Question 11. All dogs go to heaven. Let's get it. Among US states, the longest complete official state name belongs to who? Massachusetts, Rhode Island, or Virginia? <laughs> he celebrates Reggie Don. He does. Happy Reggie Don to all of you <laughs> brown bears out there. Black bears. He's a black bear. Yep, that's right. Okay. Some of those official names can run on. In fact, not long ago, the state of Rhode Island decided to cut a few words, meaning the Commonwealth of Massachusetts is the longest now. Yeah, just 30 characters, though. Massachusetts, we got 1,747 players going to the final question of the game. Get hyped and do a little flip. Just like this, back flip or front flip. Gabby Douglas. <laughs> all right, this one's for all the marbles, y'all. The final question of the game, okay? And I'm gonna give you a little hint so you can get your mind going. It's Star Trek related. Okay. All right. All the Trekkies are like, come on, ready, let's focus. Okay. The Star Trek episode introducing which character did not take its title from Shakespeare? Atos, Kodos, or Rejak? Atos, Kodos, or Rejak? Okay, Star Trek has always loved Shakespeare and took a lot of titles from his plays, especially Macbeth. But you know what Shakespeare didn't write? Wolf in the Fold. Yeah, that's right, the episode with the super being Rejak. We have 783 winners of SQ Trivia on this Thursday night, baby! Let's go to work! Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. What's up, Marlene? I see you, girl. Shout out to all of our winners, all 783 of y'all. We got Jem Sander, Bold Mikey, Agent Rhett, uh, Day Sharon, Yellow F4, Rubik's Lady, uh, Dish and Desi, Disha Desi, 
friend of Canuck? <laughs> uh, 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 perp? Uh, TJ BJ? Yeah. Whoop, oh, all right. Uh, Serape 999, Kid Lady 11, Ustan, Dut Pal, just to name a few. Another epic game of HQ enters the history books. Congratulations to all of our winners. But if you didn't earn something, you must have learned something, okay? Ah, but you can always come on back and try again. It's always great having you. I like that. Picasso. Don't forget, if you haven't already, set those notifications in the HQ app so you never have to miss a game. And you can always keep in touch with us on the socials. And check me out there too, all right? At HQ Trivia and then at Matt Was Funny. That's your boy. All right. Yeah. I'm leaving you with this. I hope all the horrible things that have been going on lately work out okay. So life can go back to regular horrible.